Sun salutations warm up. Begin in a comfortable cross-legged seat, letting the backs of your wrists rest against your knees, long spine, and begin to build ujjayi breath, breathing in and out through your nose, lips sealed. On an inhale, reach your arms up to the ceiling, interlace your hands, press your palms up towards the ceiling, getting a big, long stretch. Drop your right hand down to your side, left arm reaches up and over, stretching through the left side of your body. Inhale, come through center and exhale, drop over to the left. Moving back and forth again, inhale, center, take it right. Inhale, center, exhale, take it left. One more round, inhale, center, exhale to the right. Even adding a little twist there if you'd like, and then inhale, center, take it left, taking a little twist up towards the ceiling. Coming back through center. And pause, inhale, reach the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, twist to the right, right hand coming behind you, left hand across your knee. Inhale through center, exhale, twist left. Two more rounds, inhale to transition, exhale, twist right. Inhale, center, exhale, twist left. One more round, inhale, center, exhale, twist to the right. And then taking it again to the left as you're ready. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Staying for a little bit longer on each side this time. Come back through center. Again, interlace your fingers, press up to the ceiling, and then drop your hands by your sides. Bringing your hands now back to your knees. We're taking seated cat cows. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, round your spine, letting the pelvis tip. Inhale, arching the back, gaze up. Exhale, really round the spine. And inhale, arch the spine. And exhale, rounding the spine. And back to a neutral spine. And come up into a boat. Just waking up through the core, lifting up through the chest, cross your feet, then plant your hands and step back into a downward facing dog. Take whatever movement you might need to take in your down dog, lengthening the spine, soft bend in your knees, engage through your core, pit of the belly in and up. Inhale forward to a high plank and lower all the way down to your stomach, uncurl your toes. Cobra, inhale, lift it up, exhale, release. Twisted cobra right, inhale over the right shoulder. Exhale, come down. Twisted cobra left, inhale it up. Exhale, release. One more cobra through center on your fingertips. Inhale up. Release all the way back down. Curl your toes under, press back up to a high plank. Back to downward facing dog. Tiptoe to the top of your mat, finding a ragdoll. Feet hip distance apart, soft knees, grab opposite elbows. Upper body can sway here, front to back, side to side, a little twist, whatever you need. Then walk your feet in to where they feel stable, hip distance or closer. Draw yourself all the way up to mountain, reach it up. Take a side bend to the right. And back through center, you can come up onto toes if you'd like, and then take a side bend left. Come back through center, crossing left foot over right, take again a side bend to the right, and change it out, right foot over left, taking a side bend to the left. Back through center. Now pointing your right toe out to the right, take another side bend right. And then left foot pushes out to the left, side bend left. Just getting bigger in our side bends. Come back through center. Take your hands to your lower back, adding a back bend. Gaze up as big as you are ready for. And forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Plant your hands, step back to a high plank. Shifting forward onto your toes. Lowering halfway down, chaturanga, knees down or knees up. Upward facing dog, shoulders back and down. Downward facing dog. Stepping back to the top of your mat, halfway lift, forward fold, mountain, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen your spine, step it back to high plank. Lower halfway down, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. 
top of your mat, step or float, halfway lift, forward fold, mountain, forward fold, halfway lift, lengthen the spine, chaturanga, step or float, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. top of your mat. Half lift and fold. Mountain moving into sun seas. Then exhale forward fold. Step your right foot back to a low lunge. Back knee down, arms reach up. Plant your hands. Chaturanga flow. Either stepping to down dog or moving through your full flow. From downward facing dog, the right foot steps forward. Low lunge. Arms reach up. Forward fold at the top of your mat. Mountain. Forward fold. Left foot steps back, low lunge, chaturanga flow. You can begin to float a leg if you want to intensify a little or just stepping to down dog. From that down dog, left foot steps forward, low lunge. Forward fold at the top of your mat. Mountain, forward fold. Right foot steps back, low lunge, cactus the arms to get bigger. And then chaturanga flow back to downward facing dog, taking that flow however serves you. Right foot steps forward, low lunge, cactus arms, and forward fold at the top of your mat. Mountain, fold. Left leg steps back, cactus arms, chaturanga flow. Moving to your breath, inhale for an up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward, low lunge, cactus arms, forward fold at the top of your mat. Mountain. Clasp your hands behind your back, lengthen down to open your chest, and bow forward, keeping that bind, hands floating off your back. You can shake out the neck, soft knees as you need it. And then come back up again, mountain. Forward fold. Step your right foot back, low lunge. Clasp the hands behind your back, lengthen down, open your chest. And then take it to a half split. So lengthening through that front leg, hips tip up and back, flex the foot. Hands could be to a block, hands could be on either side of your leg. Shift and move as you need to get into that hamstring. And then shift back forward, twisted lunge, lengthen your back leg, left arm reaches up. And as you're ready, you take it back, chaturanga flow, or just stepping to down dog. Right leg steps forward, clasp the hands behind your back, lengthen down, open your chest, and then step forward, keeping that bind as you can, mountain. Again, clasp the hands, bow it forward, hands float off the lower back, release what you need to release. Stand all the way back up again, mountain arms reach up, forward fold, left leg steps back. Clasp the hands, lengthen down, open your chest. Releasing the bind, you come into your half split, hips tipping up and back, flex to the foot. Shift and move as you need to get into that hamstring. And then take it to a twisted lunge, lengthen through the back leg, right arm reaching up. Finding what you need here in this twist. And then find your flow back to down dog, whatever that looks like. Left leg steps forward, arms reach up. And then clasp your hands, lengthen down, open your chest. Step it forward, hands float off your lower back, forward fold. And then shake everything off. Halfway lift, lengthen the spine, forward fold. Thunderbolt, also called chair in a lot of practices. Sitting deep, arms reach up. Open twist to the right, hips stay nice and square. Come back through center, open twist to the left. Back through center. Fierce thunderbolt, lift the heels, arms sweep back at a hover, wake up through the core. Stand all the way back up again, mountain at a back bend, and then forward fold, half lift. Chaturanga flow back to downward facing dog. Right leg reaches up towards the ceiling, bend your knee, open your hips, shake things out as much as you need. Re-extend and step it forward, warrior one. Both sides of the rib cage draw towards the top of your mat. Anchor down the outer edge of the back foot. Clasp your hands, lengthen down, bow it forward. Humble warrior one. Come back up to normal warrior one. Chaturanga flow back, downward facing dog. Left leg reaches up to the ceiling. Bend your knee, open your hip. Shake out what you need to shake out. And then step it forward, normal warrior one. Cactus the arms, reach it back up, and then clasp your hands, lengthen down, humble warrior one. Let's our head release down towards the mat. Inhale back up, warrior one. Chaturanga flow back, downward facing dog. It's 
Top of your mat, stepper floats, halfway lift, forward fold, thunderbolts. Hands to heart center, take your twist to the right. Come back through center and forward fold. Walk your feet wider. First two fingers wrap around your big toes. Soft bend in the knees. Use your arms to draw yourself deeper into your fold. You can shake your head out as needed. Release your toes. Walk your feet back together. And come back into your thunderbolts. And take your twist to the left. Hands to heart center. Find your rotation. Right elbow either inside the right knee or outside the left knee, depending on how deep you need your twist to be. And come back through center again, walking your feet apart. Slide your palms underneath your feet from the front all the way up to the wrist crease. Shake your head out. Use your arms to draw yourself deeper. Release your feet. Walk your feet to the width of your mat. Malasana, turning your toes out, sitting nice and deep. Hands to heart center, opening through the chest and through the hips. Forward fold, walk your feet back together, halfway lift, and flow back to downward facing dog. Right leg, reach it up to the ceiling, step it forward, warrior one. Open it up to Skandasana into your left leg, and then into a twisted lunge at the top of your mat. Chaturanga flow back, downward facing dog. Left leg, reach it up, step it forward, warrior one. Skandasana into the right leg, twisted lunge back at the top of your mat and Chaturanga flow back, downward facing dog. And now you're ready to move into whatever flow you might choose. <laughs> 